Hey everybody, this is Brett with Brett's Auto Reviews and today I'm at Summit Auto and I'm going to be explaining the differences between the Wrangler High Altitude and the Wrangler Altitude Package. They both sound very similar and are right next to each other on Jeep's build website. Um, but we're going to go through all the differences. They're actually pretty different. This is a pretty high-end um, appearance and interior package on the high altitude and the altitude is more of just an appearance package um, and doesn't really give you a lot of the extra stuff that the high altitude does. So as always I want to thank Summit Auto for uh, giving us these great vehicles to video and do all this cool stuff with and um, you can check out my main channel which is youtube.com slash Summit Auto. Uh, I've got a lot of videos on there and uh, there will be a link at the end of this video. Anyways, let's get right to it, and I uh, hope you learned something from the video, and if you do, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that you'll notice is obviously the bumpers on these two vehicles are pretty different. The high altitude package comes with the all painted front and rear bumper, and because this one's black, it just happens to be black. On the white ones, uh, they're all white as well, or whatever color that you'd get your high altitude in is gonna be the body matched color um, as well as the fenders. Now the altitude package you can see just has the plastic bumpers, but you do get the gloss black inserts on the uh, fog light bezels and you also get the gloss black inserts on the seven slotted grill and around the headlights. Uh, the other thing to note, on the high altitude package you get these LED headlamps standard uh, they come with the high altitude package as well as the LED running lights and the LED fog lamps. And if you look over here at the Sahara altitude, this one has the standard halogen headlamps as well as the standard halogen fog lights and the halogen lights in the um, fenders as well. So that's the front of the vehicle difference. Uh, gloss or color match bumper, plastic bumper. You do get the black inserts on the grill of the altitude and the fog light bezels. This one also has the black inserts and around the fog light bezels as well, but because the vehicle's black, it uh, blends right in. So let's get to the next uh, big thing at the back of the vehicles. So at the back of the high altitude here, you can see that you get the painted color matched rear bumper. This one happens to have the blind spot and cross path detection monitoring on it, so you do get the uh, parking sensors right there. Uh, all the Wranglers come with the LED license plate lights, um, and you get the reflectors in the rear bumper as well, and you get that on the altitude too. Um, they just seem to pop out when you get the painted bumpers. Uh, also has the LED tail lamps standard with that high altitude package. Now if we come over to the altitude, you can see that this one has the halogen tail lamps and the plastic rear bumper. Still has the LED license plate light, but those are the two major differences in the back. Uh, let's go check out the rims and you can see what's different with those. So right off the bat you can tell that the rims on the high altitude are bigger than the rims on the altitude. That's because the high altitude comes standard with the 20 inch gloss black painted rims. Comes with Bridgestone Dueler HL tires. And you'll notice that these are the highway terrain um, tread on there, 275, 55R20s. And then on the altitude, you get the 18 inch tires. These are Bridgestone Duelers as well, but they're the AT, so the all terrain tire. You can see the tread difference from the all-terrain to the HL uh, terrain. And these size, the size on these are 275, 70 R18s. So the rims are two inches bigger on the high altitude, uh, but they are both gloss black, as you can see. And they both do have the little Jeep in sting gray on the side as well. So let's take a look at the original window stickers. Uh, compared side by side and then we'll check out the interior differences. So taking a look at both window stickers here 
Um, I'm not going to go through everything because that gets really droning and boring, but we'll start off with the high altitude package. And you can see that they start off with a base price for the Sahara. Uh, both of them do right about the same time. These, depending on when they're made, prices change a little bit. Um, but you can see they both start at 45,000 and some change. And then you get to the optional equipment. Now the high altitude package is a $9,095 option. Gives you everything that you see right there and right there standard. Um, total MSRP on the high altitude is 61,715. And as we go to the Sahara altitude, once again, you can see the starting price is very similar. And then the altitude package or 25L is $5,095. And it gives you everything that you see right there. Now the total MSRP on this one is close to the high altitude because um, it's only about $2,000 less. And that's because this one has the Sky One Touch power top. So that is a very expensive option on there. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, as you can see, everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, this one's got a little bit different fuel economy because it's got the V6 as opposed to the two liter turbo. So you get one mile per gallon average better. And that's because the city average is two miles per hour or miles per gallon better. Um, anyways, now let's check out the interiors. I know it's not going to be easy to show both of them at the same time. So I'll show you the high altitude first, and then you'll see the difference with the altitude. So starting off with the high altitude package, you can see that it has the steel gray interior on this one. But the big thing for the high altitude package is this uh, special copper stitching that they do kind of gives it a quilted look. Um, and that's copper stitching goes throughout the entire vehicle. You get the stitching on the steering wheel. The dash has that steel gray leather on it as well. All part of that high altitude package. Really, really looks good. Um, but otherwise it's just the standard Sahara interior um, options. You get the steel gray on the doors as well. And the back seats are that same uh, stitched leather. So it really looks fancy. Um, and that's pretty much it uh, for the interior. Uh, they both have the heated seat and heated steering wheel group. Now if we go to the altitude, you can see that you get just the normal black leather with the black stitching. There's no special decorative stitching on it. All the stitching on the steering wheel is black as well. This one still has the 8.4, the 8-speed uh, auto. Uh, one thing to note that this one has this granite crystal dash, and it's metallic. So I'm not sure if that comes with the altitude package, because uh, the Sahara comes standard with the black leather dash. So I'm guessing that's part of that altitude package that you get that granite crystal. In the back seats, they're pretty much the same as the front. Nothing really special back here um, with the altitude package. Uh, so it really doesn't give you a whole lot on the interior, um, but that high altitude definitely gives you the special stitching and everything on this particular Wrangler. So just a couple more things to note on the high altitude. You also get the color matched mirrors as well as this uh, directional signal in the side of the mirror. And if you look at the altitude, this one just comes with the standard uh, plastic back to the mirror. There's no directional signal. These are heated. Uh, both mirrors are heated. This one doesn't have the blind spot or anything. But other than that, everything is very similar. Uh, you do get the Jeep, black Jeep lettering on the side. You both get the uh, trail rated 4x4 badge on the driver's side. Uh, the step bars are standard on the high altitude and they're a $95 option on the altitude and that's pretty much it. Final thoughts on the Jeep high altitude and the altitude. Um, I think you get a lot. Obviously this one's baseline going to be about $5,000 more uh, from package to package. 
uh, but you do get the LED lights, you get the painted bumpers, you get the painted mirrors, you get the special stitching in the seats, um, and you get that leather wrap dash that's all special as well. I think for the money, uh, you get the bigger rims, the, the different tires. Uh, I think for the money, probably go with the high altitude. Uh, just it looks better and those LED lights are amazing. You definitely want to get those. So um, nothing wrong with the altitude. I had a Sahara pretty much optioned out like that, minus the sky slide. And uh, I really liked it. It was a lot of fun. I would get the removable hardtop um, just because I'm used to that and I liked it a lot. And I did have a soft top on mine as well, so that was convenient for the summer. Um, I just don't know. I don't feel like paying $2,000 for a, a roof that can slide. I'm not sure. Plus, I think it's like having a soft top when you're driving down the highway. I've never driven the uh, that one in particular or any of the sky slides, but I imagine they're same consistency as the soft top, so it'd probably be a little louder in there than the hard top. Anyways, uh, so I would pick the high altitude. Which one would you pick? Curious to know. Write down in the comments why. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about the high altitude and the altitude package. I know it wasn't too long a video, so hopefully it wasn't that painful. And uh, if you learned anything or if you really enjoyed the video, I'm going to be doing a lot more of this sort of type of videos. Uh, you can give me a like, subscribe, and share. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel right there. A link to my other YouTube channel, which is right there, uh, Summit Auto, youtube.com slash Summit Auto. I do full walk-arounds of video vehicles each and every day, so check those out. A link to how to take your hard top off your Wrangler right there and a link to how to take your doors off your jail wrangler right there check out all those videos uh, give me a like subscribe and share thanks again for checking out watching the video and uh until our next coffee 